Hello Linux fans and welcome to another episode of GNOME Quest where we take a look at settings, tweaks, and extensions for the GNOME desktop. Today we're going to take a look at CoverFlow Alt-Tab. So let's jump over to the GNOME Shell Extensions page here and we want to give a shout out to P91Paul, the developer for CoverFlow Alt-Tab. And you'll see here that it's very high ratings, uh, four and five stars pretty much all the way through. Uh, great extension, love it, so on and so forth are some of the remarks. And before we turn on the CoverFlow Alt tab, I want to give you an idea of what the default Alt tab looks like within the GNOME desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and launch the file manager. Um, we'll minimize that. And let's go ahead and open up settings. And then we'll minimize that as well. Now, this is your default Alt tab look. So you'll hold down the Alt key and tap tab. And now you'll see a pop-up here, basically with icons in a panel, and you can scroll left and right to select the uh, particular open running application. And then if you wanted to, uh, after you've chosen your application or you decided you didn't want to choose anything, you simply uh, remove your finger from the Alt key, and the window that you were on previously will pop up. So that's default within GNOME. So we're going to go ahead and toggle on the CoverFlow Alt tab, and this will give you an idea of the new look. And this is really handy if you're working on multiple documents or maybe you've got a couple of browsers open. And so instead of just selecting an icon, you actually want to be able to see what it is you're selecting. So that's where we're going to hit the Alt tab uh, keys again. And now you'll see this cover flow look. So here I can see the actual page. Here I can see the list of the settings window, so on and so forth, as well as the file manager. And so you can see where this not only gives it a really modern look, but it's also handy in that you can actually see what it is you're about to select. So really, really like this extension. Now there are some options here to customize things, and <clears throat> I think for most people it's uh, fairly straightforward. It's a fairly simple approach. Uh, actually, I'm surprised that that was on because it's not showing that it's toggled on there. That's, uh, hmm, that's interesting. All right, we'll move on. And so here we have the CoverFlow Alt Tab settings. And I just will point out to you that you must restart the GNOME shell and to basically apply any of the changes here. So with a combination of Alt F2 and typing R, that will restart the GNOME shell which will apply the changes. So we had hide panel during cover flow. That is selected by default and we left that in place. So it's going to hide this top panel. Then also you have an option here to always show the switcher on the panel on the primary uh, monitor. And in this case we're working with one monitor in this system so no need to toggle that. Now you've got an option here for switcher style which is cover flow which we looked at just a second ago and then timeline. So we are going to take a look at timeline. So again here we're going to off Alt F2, hit R, and then we'll go back in and we'll as soon as that has completed the restart and then we're going to take a look at what timeline looks like. And so here you're going to see timeline and if you think about it from the standpoint of what's the last application that you used that'll be the window that you see and again you're just going to cycle through in a similar manner to uh, cover flow. Alright and the next option here we have is animation speed smaller is faster and then you have background dim factor that's going to you know dim out the desktop and everything in behind the cover flow. Then you have a window title box position currently the default is bottom and that's the title for the application that you see. Also you have application icon style, classic and overlay. If we choose overlay, and we're going to go ahead and hit Alt F2 again, and we'll restart. What you're going to find then is the default icon will be positioned over the window as you're scrolling through in CoverFlow. So we'll do that with Alt Tab. So now there you'll see the, uh, the tweaks icon, settings icon, so on and so forth and we're still in timeline mode here. 
All right, so uh, the other option that you have is elastic animations, which we have turned on. You can also adjust the vertical offset, so uh, adjusting that will move everything up or down. We're going to leave that at zero. And then you can choose to show the windows from the current or from all workspaces. And in this case, I only have one workspace going, so uh, nothing to change there. So minimal set of settings, but there's not a lot you really need to adjust because the main feature, again, is that cover flow look that allows you to see exactly what it is you're selecting. So excellent extension with high ratings. And this is just one more of those extensions that really adds to the overall experience of the GNOME or GNOME desktop. So thanks for watching. Hope this helps and we will check you later.